So today, review lesson 52. I mean, every sentence in these reviews is such, such gems. And I thought, maybe you read it this way. We, whoever's going to read will say a sentence and then pause a little bit. And then you, in your own mind, repeat it, that very sentence, with your eyes closed. That will slow us down and bring us to more of an experiential level of the reviews. Is everybody okay with that? Like that dog in a car, you know? <laughs> oh my God. So I'll start with a lesson six review. So just close your eyes and repeat after me, but quietly in your mind, yeah? I am upset because I see what is not there. Reality is never frightening. It is impossible that it could upset me. Reality brings only perfect peace. When I'm upset, it is always because I have replaced reality with illusions which I made up. those who came later just close your eyes and I'll say a sentence and you quietly repeat that in your mind the illusions are upsetting because I have given them reality and thus regarded reality as an illusion.
nothing in God's creation is affected in any way. By this confusion of mind, I am always upset by nothing. I am always upset by nothing. I'm always upset by nothing. Chantal, would you like to take on? For those who came mm -hmm. later, we just uh, repeat a, read a lesson, a, a sentence, and then you just repeat that in your mind, in your voice, nice and slow. We we'll give you enough gap to absorb it. Go ahead. Review lesson seven. I see only the past. As I look about, I condemn the world I look upon. I call this seeing. I hold the past against everyone and everything. making them my enemies. When I have forgiven myself and remembered who I am, I will bless everyone and everything I see. There will be no past and therefore no enemies. Mm -hmm. And I will look with love on all that I feel to see before. Mm. Anthony. 
Number three, my mind is preoccupied with past thoughts. I see only my own thoughts. And my mind is preoccupied with the past. What then can I see as it is? Let me remember that I look on the past to prevent the, the present from dawning on my mind. Mm -hmm. Let me understand that I am trying to use time against God. Let me learn to give the past away, realizing that in so doing, I am giving up nothing. Mm. Let's just take a two minute break and just be quiet with this. Every way to take the next one. Kevin? You say, you say Kevin? You say? 
yeah, Kevin, I see nothing as it is now. Same way, really slow, say a sentence, and everyone repeats that in their mind. I see nothing as it is now. If I see nothing as it is now, it can truly be said that I see nothing. I can see only what is now. The choice is not whether to see the past or the present. The choice is merely whether to see or not. Mm -hmm. What I have chosen to see has cost me vision. Now I would choose again that I may see. Mm -hmm. Let's take two minutes to ponder this. I see nothing as it is now. Mm. Yeah, beautiful. Anon, would you read the next one? Thank you. Hmm. Hi. My thoughts do not mean anything. Mm -hmm.
I have no private thoughts. Yet it is only private thoughts of which I am aware. What can these thoughts mean? They do not exist, and so they mean nothing. Yet my mind is part of creation and part of its creative. Would I not rather join the thinking of the universe? And to obscure all that is really mine with my pitiful and meaningless private thoughts. Beautifully mm -hmm. done.
Mm. Think of you, love it. That was beautiful. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. So awesome. I'm so grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. We'll see you very soon. Okie dokie. Thank you very much. Okie dokie. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Lots of love. Bye. Beautiful day. Love you. Love you. Love you too. Oh.